It's time for another Tuesday's Tech Tip, from Active Datacom. Connecting a computer to a television, is not difficult for typical equipment, and can be very inexpensive, for certain hardware. Even the very oldest computers, and televisions can usually be adapted to work together. Newer computers and televisions, may have connectors that are directly compatible, with one another, but users with older hardware, can still display computer content on televisions. Quality will vary widely depending, on the configuration, and some content may require specialized hardware, to satisfy digital rights management requirements. Before proceeding with any interconnections, it is very important to read all manuals carefully. Similarly following instructions, as closely as possible, is important to avoid causing damage to any devices. The first step, is to identify the ports on each device, that will be used. We will start with video connections. For typical computers, the most common video output ports include VGA, DVI, and HDMI. These ports are quite distinct, from one another, so identifying the port on a particular PC should not be difficult. Most televisions have at least one of the following video inputs, composite video, component video, S-video, HDMI, DVI, and sometimes VGA. Older televisions, that lack any dedicated video input ports, usually at least have screw terminal antenna, or coaxial cable RF inputs. For these televisions, more components will be needed, but they can still be used with most computers. If the computer and television share, the same type of port, such as VGA, DVI, or HDMI, generally, the proper cable is all that, is needed to get video, from the PC to the television. Televisions that do not share a port, with the PC will typically have, one or more standard analog video inputs, such as composite video, S-video, or component video. For these televisions, a converter is required for connection, to the PC, typically a device called a scan converter. A variety of scan converters exist, that accept PC video, via VGA, or DVI, and output the required signals, for the television via composite, component, or S-video. If the PC, has an HDMI output, converters and scalers are available that, will take the place of the scan converter, and supply the necessary output, for the television. Finally for those televisions, that lack all but, RF antenna input, an RF modulator, can be connected in place of cable, or an antenna, which allows the use of analog outputs, from scan converters, or scalers to be used. If the television has only screw terminals, for an antenna, an inexpensive device called a matching transformer, can be used to connect the RF modulator to the screw terminals. Most of the items mentioned are widely available locally, from big box and electronic stores, as well as from online vendors. Getting audio from a PC to a television is generally quite simple. For audio output on PCs, the most common port, by far is a standard 3.5mm stereo jack, which is the same, as most standard headphone jacks. Likewise most televisions have simple right, and left RCA audio input ports, so all that is needed is a splitter, that has one 3.5mm stereo, male plug on one end that splits, to separate male RCA plugs, on the other. This cable can usually be obtained at electronics stores, or ordered online. For more complex audio devices, such as those with optical output, or input, converters and adapters are available. This has been another Tuesday's Tech Tip, from Active Datacom. Thank you for watching, and if you ever need, help with your computer, network website, or any IT issues, just call click, or come by. Call us toll free at 1-877-55-FIXIT, visit us online at www.callactive.com, or stop by at 1203, Nell Street in Buffalo, Mississippi.